got a good one coming up, folks. We're here in Flagstaff, Arizona for the Championship West Final. Thrilled you're here with us today. Rob Stone and the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson with you. Every bowler on the PBA Tour is top tier. What does it take to win? Be confident, be loose, and knock down more pins than your opponent. It's pretty simple. I believe we're ready to get this thing started. Here's Simonson, and he likes to joke that he was bowling before he was born because his mom was nine months pregnant in a bowling center when his dad rolled a perfect game. Thought that was going to be a strike, but the seven would not go down. Things off with the spare. Let's see what he does here. Take a look at the ten pin party in the pit. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Picks up eight pins, leaving the four and nine. You see the tour average for this, tough to convert. Got it! If you don't like that, you don't like bowling. That, my friends, was a nice looking strike. Looking for two in a row. Ringing seven, four around the bottom of the seven. What happened there, Randy? Not sure. Maybe a little frustration carrying over from not getting that strike. Here's his approach. Ooh, a little extra oomph in that shot there at the end. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Leaves the 10 there. Ninety five percent is your tour average for the 10 pin. And a nice conversion there. Here you see the max score each player can get. That shot punched the words right out of me.
looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. And there's the double. Looking to keep it going with the triple. Watch this. Cuts right through the heart. Does not go down. The seven is left standing. No problem on that one. Got a strike on the last turn. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Already with the double, looking for a triple. Someone is heating up. Turkey. Good looking shot right there. Nice looking strike there. Trying to get a streak going here. Got it! Looking for the ham bone here. Four strikes in a row. Oh boy, did not see that coming. Maybe just a pinch soft. Got the spare. Here's the max scores if both players strike out. Ten down. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Oh no, the big four. Best strategy here is to try and slide the four and the six pin into the two pins on the other side. Really hard to convert though. Can't convert the big four. That's a really difficult one to pick up. He's making his approach. Left the 7-9 split there. It is possible to slide the 9 into the 7, but the margin of error is so small that the shot has to be perfect. I can't remember the last time I saw someone pick up the 7-9 split. He's ready and making his approach. Fix 
picks up nine pins. Looking for the double. Make it three in a row here. That's a vicious ringing ten. Well, we've reached the conclusion of our event. On behalf of my partner, Randy Peterson, I'm Rob Stone. Keep on rolling. got a good one coming up folks we're here in Flagstaff Arizona for the championship West final I'm Rob Stone and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer Randy Peterson Wow you can really feel the excitement with these competitors Randy what are your thoughts about tonight Rob these players want to string strikes early and get out to a quick lead to force their opponents to play catch up we're all set for the second game of this finals match A strike to start things off. Here's the big Texan, Wes Malott. That's how you start. Looking for two in a row. Got it! Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. That's a vicious ringing 10. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. No problem on that one. What adjustment would you suggest here? Oh, throw it better. That was a bad shot. Come on, 10 pin. 95% is your tour average for the 10 pin. Got it. We'll try and make it three in a row here. There's 
Here's another strike. Working off a turkey, trying to upgrade to a ham bone. Got a ringing 10 out of that. No problem. That got down the lane in a hurry. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the pin. Got a strike on the last turn. Our graphic here shows the potential max score. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Looking strike there. Looking for the double. Oh, my heavens! I thought that was a strike. That was just a terrible break. Ringing ten. And a nice conversion there. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Three in a row for the turkey. Going for the ham bone now, Randy. Looking really good here. Nice streak going. The streak continues with four strikes in a row. Call it a ham bone! Just missed the pocket. Gets the spare here. Some pretty good pin action right there. We've seen a ham bone so far. Locked in. And there's the five bagger. We're seeing a lot of confidence and some great shot making here. in a row and looking for more. Here's the max scores if both players strike out.
Brings down the hammer again, another strike. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Ringer on the 10, that's not right. Yeah, that's just dirty. the spare. Ah, oh, goes Brooklyn. conversion there. Knocks down nine pins there. Looking for seven straight now. Just needs three. Three pins, and you have your winner. He comes through and takes home the victory. Got seven strikes in a row. Looking for eight. Strike for the eight batter. Looking for the nine batter here. No better feeling in the world than when you're locked in like this. Yes! Extends the streak to nine! That's the end of our broadcast, bowling fans, and what a night it was. We'll see you next time.